Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will see how we can calculate the tags and how we can apply the tags for other product. Okay. For that, you have to take one product. I'm taking this product. Just select these options and click on this add to cart. So here you can see that what is a tax. Magento to provides a comprehensive tax calculation system that allows you to calculate and collect taxes on products, shipping, and other services based on various tax routes, rates, and zones. So to configure the tax in Magento 2, you need to follow these steps. Like you have to set up these tax zones, tax rates, tax rules. Okay. After that, uh, we will see how the tax will be calculated. Okay. Now uh, I have added this product to cart. Just go to the cart page. You see here the price it is added $22 now I'm just selecting this country US and uh, this California 9001 this is the postal code as a code you see here the tax is applied 2.20 so how this tax is calculated you know this is 2.2 uh, means the 10% of uh, subtotal so somewhere it is configured go to admin panel username password click on sign in a tax is a uh, extra charge uh, that you have to pay based on your uh, region okay so you have to go to this store tax rules and tax zones page you already have uh, this See. So let's copy this product. The radiant tip. This one, right? Just edit this product. Check your product tax class. You see here, the tax class should be taxable goods. So that's the way we can apply the tax. So if you if you didn't select this tax class and put it to none, then in the front end you can't see this tax rates. How the tax will be calculated based on this tax rules and the tax zones and rates. Okay, now let's check for one. Create here in the tax rule section. Click on this add new tax rule. You see here there are list of uh, available tax rates. You can create one more uh, tax rate for here. These are the tax rates. How much amount you want to put it for the particular region tax? Okay, just click on this add new tax. Identify your which you can put it something uh, US, California, something. Okay, so this is uh, where when you select this, we will have these two options range from and range to. That is the zip code range. For example, uh, if the zip code is 9000. And uh, uh, if I end this with uh, um, one line, okay. So this way you can add some zip code so that the tax will be applied within these range zip codes. So I'm unselecting this one. I don't want this just for now. I'm putting some uh, only this tax will be applied to this zip code only. This tax will be applicable uh, to all the zip codes which are available in this country. Okay, if you put this star, if you put the star for the state, uh, the same thing, uh, whatever the states under this United States, we are considering all the states. Okay, just put some percentage. I will show you. Put it uh, some 10 percent. Save it. You see here. USA, which I have uh, just added a new tax rate. Okay, just uh, you select this one. Put uh, the tax rates, or if you want to export uh, the tax rates uh, for just checking what are the tax rates available, you just click on here. So for importing tax rates, you can just in, uh, click on this one, choose file, and uh, submit this button. Okay, just for now, I'm not uh, selecting anything. Okay, leave as it is. Now I'm just selecting this uh, newly created tax rate. Okay, save and continue. Oh, before that, you have to fill your uh, name. You will see it. 
something okay just to identify it okay my tax rate is saved now now which region this tax class should apply go to this tax zones and rates you see here just refresh this page see now I have applied to all the states and all the zip codes which are available in the country US if customer selected the US then uh, no matter what state and zip code uh, he selected so this tax rate will be applied okay this 10 percent now this way you can create your tax rates just uh, go to the front end check here the tax rate refresh the page you can select uh, country as US state anything zip code anything which is uh, available for this United States I'm just selecting United States now selecting state you can select any state because the tax will be applied to any state okay mm. now what is the Alaska zip code copy this one you can copy any of this okay just go to the front end check here see the tax is applied the the tax is like 10% uh, of subtotal 10% of uh, $22 is something like 2.20 correct so this is how you can add the product tax class now I will show you some configurations uh, go to admin click on the stores configuration so now click on the sales click on the tags you see here different types of tax classes available so for the product what you have to select the taxable goods so what you have selected for this product the tax class is taxable goods the same you have to select here. okay just save the configuration by default it is already a taxable goods only you see here uh, tax calculation is based on different methods like uh, uh, based on the order total uh, unit price row total okay and also it is based on this shipping address billing address shipping origin okay right now I'm just taking this uh, order total and shipping address okay right now I'm just uh, leaving this shipping address you can try with the uh, billing address and shipping orders okay so in the next video I will discuss about uh, how you can configure these taxes in this video we just uh, we just created one tax rule and apply it to this product you see here in the sales click on this tax you see tax classes how the magento will be calculated this tax by default okay based on some uh, regions okay i'll discuss in the next video thank you